Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're going to learn about my cheese press. Now I've had many, many questions about how this very simple cheese press works um, with the uh, 50 pound or 22 kilo spring. Um, so now I made a whole bunch of cheeses the other day. So I will show you the press in action and um, what the varying degrees. It's very simple. Um, the model, this one is a zinc coated model, which has a little bit of rust on it. It's been well used. Um, and it has a very simple screw down device and the rest is made of high density poly polyethylene uh, which is easy to clean. Um, normally to clean this I use hot soapy water. I spray the high density polyethylene parts with uh, vinegar and then allow that to dry as I'm making the cheese. So I dry it over here in the sink area. Um, the, stain, the spring is um, a zinc coated as well. Uh, but uh, that doesn't come in contact with the cheese because there's a follower between that and the cheese. Anyway, I'll show you now how to use this very simple cheese press. So there's the press. This is the galvanized version. There's now a stainless steel version, uh, and that's the only one we sell. The mechanism is very simple. It's on a screw th thread there, and the spring is the only other moving part. It's a 50 pound or 22 kilo spring. So this press is set up, very simple, all you do is wind the, uh, the screw down and it compresses the spring. This compression spring, when it's fully wound up, is 50 pounds or 22 and a half kilos and that's how much pressure is applied to the cheese. I normally hang the cloths up to stop them from getting very wet and this is a very simple demonstration here of removing the cheese from the press. You just simply unscrew it all the way, pull out the spring, take the follower off and then unwrap the cheese and turn it over. And then we redress the cheese uh, simply by bringing the cheesecloth back up again, removing any bits that shouldn't be there, popping it back into the mould and then uh, popping the cheesecloth over the top, just stretching it out a little bit there and popping the follower on and then putting it back in the press putting the spring back in and tightening it to your desired level. Anyway, this is about halfway, which is about 22 pounds. Now we'll be making another cheese making video, this time about do-it-yourself cheese presses. I've reached out to two Facebook communities and I've got a flood of photos coming back. So that'll be very interesting. Well, as you can see, very simple to use. Um, there's no mystery to it or no magic to it. Um, these are available for sale in our shop at littleringworkshops.com.au We have a whole bunch of them there. Check out how I then mature the cheese uh, with this video about my cheese cave or cheese fridge. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified about more uh, cheese making videos. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and we'll see you next time.